My name is Richard Ryer, and I'm with the Reese Across America here in Minot as their event coordinator. And I'm standing here in the lobby of our Grand Hotel, where we have, for this weekend, the POW MIA Wall of Honor. As you will notice in, next to me, as we have a large table, this is our honor guest head table, for we have four of our POWs who uh, are buried in Rose Hill. These POWs have survived and come back to America during their time back in World War II. And so anyway, uh, also we have 13 uh, roses laid on the table in honor of uh, the 13 uh, personnel that we lost on August 26th in Afghanistan at the airport. And also next to me is a 50-year banner of the POW. Uh, this was donated to us by the Charging Forward for America Incorporate in Lexicon, uh, Kentucky. Uh, this is to honor the, uh, the original uh, banner that was, was made by the mother of the son uh, who was uh, uh, killed in Vietnam. And uh, so we were able to uh, place this lovely banner uh, by another POW uh, relative. Uh, it was Captain uh, Mina Austin's uh, niece. And so she was able to help us in putting this banner on its stand. Also, there are 47 names that are on this wall of honor. And they have been read during the ceremony. And also we have the VFW Post 753 that uh, folded the flag. And we also shared what the meaning of each fold of the fl in the flag. And the flag was then presented at the end in honor of our POWs and MIAs and the 13 that we've lost uh, on August 26th. Um, this display will be up here at the Grand until Tuesday, the 20th of uh, September. And so if you should uh, stop by, uh, we have a uh, sign-in book. We'd like for you to sign your name, city, and state. And if you have a comment about the table, how it uh, affects you, and what uh, in remembering uh, our fallen, uh, honoring those who serve, and teaching the children uh, the value of freedom.